Tarnoff, the jewel of southern Poland, a smaller version of Krakow, if you will, situated halfway between Zeszów and Krakow, and I suppose about three and a half hours drive due south from Warsaw. Tarnoff, indeed a name to reckon with. This history goes back about 900 years. It was a city that was eventually incorporated by the Tarnowski family, hence its name, Jan Tarnowski. A figure that I remember from my childhood because his family, his name, features in the book, The Trumpeter of Krakow. So as you can see, the evening is drawing, uh, is drawing in. The sun is dipping down to the horizon. This is, street is called Jan Sobieski Street, and uh, <clears throat> it's named for the great uh, Polish king, the hero of the Battle of Vienna, which defeated the Ottoman Turks, led by the Polish forces and the great cavalry charge, cavalry charge down the hill uh, that uh, saved the day and uh, uh, put the Ottomans in retreat back in uh, the, la uh, the late 1600s. The, uh, that's one of the great uh, battles of Europe, and, um, and it, the fact that it was uh, led by Jan Sobieski is always celebrated. So this is a main street. And it runs up to square up here and to the main town square. But the first square is for Kazimierz the Great, the great king who, who built Poland as a commercial and military power, building castles and bringing in Jewish merchants and, and uh, creating uh, a, uh, a, a place for trade uh, to grow in between uh, what was uh, Russia and, uh, and uh, Western Europe. This part was under Austrian influence. You can see it in some of these buildings here. The, it really does look Austrian. Um, something I didn't know was that in the waning uh, hours of the war in 1918, the First World War, uh, Poland got its independence on the 1st of November in 1918, with the, uh, sorry, the 11th of November with the declaration of the uh, at the 11th hour on the 11th of November, the uh, armistice ended First World War and Poland got its independence. But if I'm correct, and I think I am, this is celebrating Tarnoff as the first in independence because the last couple of days of, of October, they were, had already declared independence uh, from the Austrians. Uh, who had been the previous occupiers of this part of Poland and perhaps the most benevolent occupiers of, of Poland and parts of the Ukraine. So that's interesting stuff. Um, up here, we'll see there's a little a tram car and in there people are drinking coffee, which sounds like a, a, a good idea, or maybe hot chocolate. Sound, yes, yes. Vidjavamto. Vidjavamto i po vidjavam, talk. Pierwsza, no. <laughs> no? You should probably job. The man says, make sure that you tell everybody we were first in independence, and I just did that. So there's, uh, there's the uh, uh, confirmation that I was correct. At any rate, um, uh, again, very nice people, smiling and polite. And uh, boy, it's just a very, uh, a very charming little place. Yeah, it really is, and quite different, uh, quite a different feel. A, a, a big town with a small town uh, flavor, because 250,000 uh, is 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 uh, is a large town in this part of uh, in this part of the world, anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, thanks for watching. Back with more as the sun disappears uh, behind the horizon from the beautiful uh, city of downtown Tarnoff and its medieval Renaissance splendor. How about that? Kazimierz, the great square. I mentioned it just before. You gotta have a Kazimierz the Great Square, you gotta have a Jan Sobieski Street, and you gotta have my pal, Mr. Mitskevich, 
It would have been fun to meet him, huh? One of the great writers of the 19th century. That's Mr. Mitskevich there. And no uh, nice square in Poland would be uh, the same without a bust of one of Poland's great writers. And he may be, at least certainly, considered the greatest poet, um, at least uh, by most, uh, by most uh, or perhaps the most hated poet by most school children. Anyway, it's like Shakespeare in, in the English language. You have to learn Shakespeare and it, your teachers kill you with it. But anyway, no, Mitz, Mitzkevich is, uh, is wonderful stuff. And uh, that's not to take anything away from, from all the great Nobel Prize winners in the, in the uh, 20th century, but they didn't have the Nobel Prize in the 19th century. Um, so uh, uh, who, who knows if, if Adam Mitzkevich wouldn't have been fighting it out with, with Lord Byron or Shelley or somebody like that for who would be the great poet and the Nobel Prize winner of their, of their time of the romantic period. Yeah, he looks romantic, doesn't he? Look at that. Look at that head of hair. Makes you want to grow your head out and your hair out and get out your old feather pen and start writing a few verse, right? A few verses. At any rate, I noticed that the, uh, that the uh, theater in Tarnoff has a full schedule. So if you're in Tarnoff and you want to go to the theater, there's a full schedule post-COVID. You can see theater every night of the week. Uh, except I think, is it Monday they don't play? At any rate, it's either Sunday or Monday. Uh, but I think Sunday they do play. At any rate, uh, this is it from Tarnoff on this particular lovely Wednesday afternoon going into evening. And now it's time to have some beautiful Polish food for supper. There's a great restaurant uh, we've heard about on the town square, and we're going to try it out. Aren't we, Vova? He's shaking his head. Oh, no, he's shaking <laughs> That was his head shake. No, that was the camera shaking, but you get it. It's one of the, yeah, never mind. See you on the next one. I'm Will Richardson, and I'm here for Poland Daily Travel in beautiful downtown Tarnoff. It doesn't get better than this, folks. It really doesn't.